Still as a quarterback who's dealing with his first postseason experience and the third worst defense in the league. And oh yeah, the team that calls a dome home outside on the road at the Giants. A much maligned Giant team out to prove something. LT on hand for the festivities. Kerry Collins, speaking of maligned, how would he fare? Well, just fine, thank you very much. Opening drive, going downfield, looking for Ike Hilliard, and he finds him. 46 yards for the score, just like that, 7 nothing Giants. On the ensuing kickoff, Mo Williams and Troy Walters. Who was worse? Yeah. They fumble the kick. Giants recover. On the very next play, Collins going back to the air again. He had 381 yards passing in the game. Greg Camella at the other end. Nice grab. Getting the feet down. 14-0 Giants in the bat of an eye. Could the Vikings come back? Well, if they could, Dante Culpepper would have to be the man. Culpepper, he's going to go downfield. Looking for Chris Carter. Good guy to look for, unless, of course, he's covered. Emmanuel McDaniel with the great pick. And the Giants get the ball back. 17-0 in the second quarter. Look at Kerry Collins. Way to foot. Rolling to his left, throwing, and finds his own college teammate, Joe Jerevicius. He had two catches, this one huge for the touchdown, 24 nothing Giants. 16 seconds left in the half, they're not done. Collins for Hilliard, 155 yards receiving for him on 10 catches, 34 nothing at the half. Vikings first play from scrimmage in the second half, more trouble. Sean Williams stripping Culpepper, guess who recovered? Of course, the Giants led to another touchdown, 41 to nothing. Culpepper trying to go back to the air, but oh, just an awful day for him. 78 total yards passing. Sam Garns with that pick, and time for the Gatorade. Your final was 41-0, Giants. First half passing tells the entire story of this game. For the Giants, 338 yards in the first half passing. For the uh, Vikings, just 20. Collins finishes with more passing yards, more touchdowns than any quarterback in championship history. Culpepper, three interceptions. Moss and Carter combined for just 42 yards of offense. Giants now 7-0 since Fossil's playoff guarantee. The only question left is who are they going to face the big one? Running back Tiki Barber joins me now as the celebration continues here at Giants Stadium. You have to be shocked at the total dominance by your team in every phase of the game. We're not shocked. You know, all the talk this week was about Minnesota's offense and our defense. Our defense held up there into the bargain, and uh, we just kind of bided our time and let the explosion uh, release itself. Kerry had a great game. We made a lot of plays, and uh, when you put 500 yards up on a team, it's, uh, it's a pretty dominant. What was the mindset coming in offensively? Because you guys did not lay back. You yeah. went after the Vikings immediately. What did you see during the week that tipped you off? It was attack from the very beginning. We knew we were going to have to get the ball down the field passing it, and Kerry was putting the balls on the money. Uh, eventually, it opened up the running game for us, and we were able to run the clock and things like that. But uh, we were just clicking on all cylinders. I think we knew the importance of this game to this team, to this, to this city. Uh, this is the biggest game you can play in Giant Stadium. And, uh, you know, these fans are here supporting us. It was amazing. You know you guys will probably be underdogs in the Super Bowl, too. That's all right. We don't mind being underdogs. We seem to do well playing from behind or playing uh, without anyone thinking we can win. All right, Tiki, congratulations. Thank you very much, Mark. All right, that's it from East Rutherford, New Jersey. I'm Mark Morgan. Thank you, Mark. AFC Championship game. One thing about the whole situation, it was a zero on the other side and extra more points on this side. When Peyton faxed the game plan Tuesday night to Collins, he wrote a note at the top of the first page. It said, John Cougar Mellencamp, the best that I could do. A reference to the Entertainer's Greatest Hits album. The point, Peyton felt like if the Giants could execute their best pass plays, they'd win. And after a record-setting offensive performance, the best the Giants can do now is win the third seed.